this morning as scheduled. It did not. It's barely happening now, but at least it's gonna happen so my vlog year won't be ruined, okay? Today is our 22nd anniversary of being a couple. So January 12th, 2001 is when I was 14, he was 17 and we went to the same school and he asked me out and we've been together literally ever since. It sounds so bad now that when you say the years, I guess it's only three years apart. But yeah. I guess just thinking about being that young. Well, cause I think we have kids that are that age now. We're like, oh yeah, my gosh, Yeah, that's why I said it sounds crazy. so bad. Right. So, I think we did this once before or something like this where we did like an anniversary quiz, but I just think it is super fun. So I thought today's vlog would be really cool to share a just kind of, we Googled something spur of the moment and we have no idea what the questions are, but we thought it'd be kind of fun to do an anniversary quiz together. Yep. Okay. okay. What's your favorite memory of the last year together? Mm -mm. You answer this first. Here you go. I want to see what yours is. <laughs> we had a miserable going. past yes. year. Yes, we did. I actually would say that I think my favorite memory of the last year happened within the past few weeks. And it's not that it was one specific thing, but I think we've just been pushed so far to the end of our rope that kind of coming to the end of the rope and being like, okay, we're not doing this anymore. We're getting, like, I think that's my favorite memory of the past year. Of disco like discovering. Like, that we're of, really sick of putting up with all the things we've been putting up with and we don't want to do it anymore. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, now, I, I, don't, I hate to copy your answer, but I have to agree with that. I think this year, though, I mean, it was, it was a horrible year for us, our family personally. Um, but sprinkled throughout the year we had some great moments i think okay. um you know i uh i think of how we just as us as a family and i know many other families are out this out there like this as well and i hope your family is one of them um, but whenever something you know big happens your family just kind of you know just mm -hmm. congregates together mm -hmm. and there were times this past year that you know everybody slept in the same bed you right know, and it was everybody come that together. was because just literally everybody i mean except for travis he's in yeah. you know, <laughs> that's not ran possible. out of room <laughs> yeah um you know but he you know he he hung out as long as he could mm -hmm. uh, but then all of the girls and all the animals would pile in and um you know we just went through a couple of uh times like that just major you know times and i thought you know, if those are always, you know, as hard as they are in those moments, you know, when you're dealing with these things, like you look back and go, you know, it's painful and as hard as these moments were, that was such a wonderful experience. And so, um, you know, the way your family, could, I wish it was indifferent, you know, of course. Right. Um, better circumstances. Yeah, be better circumstances. But the way that... <clears throat> We come together in those those moments that we had throughout the past year. I think those were those were great moments, and yeah. um, you know, so is I would like to forget as much as we would like to forget the past year. I think there was there was a lot of good, good shaping moments in that that we will. I guess they'll make sense. They'll make more sense later. I guess. <laughs> Number two. What what's your us. least favorite memory of the last year together? <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, All together. Of them. I think this is supposed to be <laughs> together, all of them, really. Um, man, least favorite. I mean, the off the top year. of my head, our week in California in December yes, would be my least be favorite it. memory of the last year together. That would definitely be it. But that in the first week of the year, yeah. I think is uh, literally the from year. the first week of January to nearly the last week of December would be my least favorite memories. Like all of that. <laughs> whole period would be my least favorite memories of yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite date together last year? Which that was nice because we had last year was one of the years that we kind of um, throughout everything we we stuck with starting date day starting date day and, mm -hmm. and so we had we usually of, never do any dates together i so. would say all of them that we had they I, we had a we had a great time on every single one that we've had mm -hmm. um we enjoy so much going out i don't know that i had one of those specific favorites i think 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, my time with the Nashville was very nice. That was mm -hmm. here recently. Right. Um, Getting to go to California and having date day at In and Out. That was incredible. Yeah, that'll win. Because we that, haven't had that in 15 years that's, almost. That's, yeah. That'll win. There you go. That was. Um, what was a date that didn't work out quite as you'd hoped? <laughs> um, Our last date day in In and Out. Yes. Yeah. Where were we? We were somewhere outside of Los Angeles. I don't even know where we ended up stopping. I don't remember. Yeah, somewhere outside of LA. That would win. That was, that. yeah, that wins. Yep, that's the worst. <laughs> that was um, the worst. It, it was. I not because of been and out, obviously. That was only saving grace, but. Um, what, Those are weird questions. What I, I know because we're not like normal people. So I guess like what vacation did you enjoy the most and why? Well, considering we went on our one and only family vacation that we've ever been on in 18 years of being a family, like that would have to win because yeah, it's absolutely. the only vacation we have ever gone on. We went out to California in the beginning of January um, and or no, well, the end of January, beginning of the year, but end of January and had the most again we've never been on a family vacation before so i don't really know what to compare Can't it next really to but anything. we had the most amazing time in the whole wide world we went out to california for a week and um had a blast we did we had a lot of fun but yeah um, that would definitely win best vacation because yeah. it was the only one what celebrations yeah stood we out have to but you? we have nothing to, to, yeah, to, we have nothing of, to so. compare to. um what celebration stood out to you the most this past year what celebration mm -hmm. Man, that's another good one that we had. We had, we had some really cool we celebrations. We did. We had here. a wonderful, like, I mean, I don't know. Travis turned 18. You're that right. was a really exciting celebration. You know, I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, his 18th birthday, we had um, the last Lily's night of Hanukkah and, oh, and we had Christmas. Oh, so much fun um, on you know, Hanukkah. Yeah. You know, that we did that. We had a great time with your mom. Mm -hmm. um, we yeah, had a fun I mean, we Passover had a, this past year. We did. We had a fun Passover. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we definitely had some fun. Celebrating Olivia's birthday here this week. That was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. For like, yeah, this is why for the, yeah, yeah we've, we've been on two day birthday with Olivia for her fifth birthday. And, um, that was a lot of fun. So, um, again, throughout such a tough year, there was a lot of, of blessing seeded out through it, you know, mm -hmm. that, um, so trying to remember those good times. Um, and there was a lot of them. So, yeah, that's cool. So the next so question, I don't think we're at this part yet, but it says, what was terrible at the time, but you laugh about it now? <laughs> I think we're still in the terrible at the time. I don't quite know if we're at the laugh about it now phase yet. Um, can you think of anything? That I'm, I'm where, yeah, I can think of a few things, but I don't know where you're going. <laughs> I have a feeling. Okay, I know so what, what are yours? No, I... Um, I don't know. I, I can what are you go. laughing about now? Let's see if I'm laughing too. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, there, there, there's, there's like an elephant in the room with what's happened recently that would, you know, that we could probably say that everything <laughs> like uh, could go down to that. But then I'm like, if you want a cheesy answer, that's not, not so cheesy. That's true. Um, you know, I think about the time, um, you know, when we first started the business in, in, um, with Lily Bees and, you know, Oh, you're not going within with, the past year. Yeah. And that, well, oh, within this past. Yeah. yeah within that's this what past I said. Year. So, okay. Um, something that was terrible at the time we can laugh about it now was when we went for a few weeks, no, or a couple months. How long was it dealing with sewage issues? That's how we spent part of this past summer. Yeah, I feel like we was, can kind of laugh about that now that's, because that's we were literally weird. having to like, we had a poo bucket <laughs> and we were having to like drive to the yeah. store a million times a day to use the restroom. And it was like one thing after another, like it's working now. Yeah, it's okay. Now. So yeah. I guess we can laugh about that. Man, you know, you said that. The and plague I, of septic issues was I wasn't, so awful. I wasn't thinking that, but now that you say that. As you were talking, I was like, well, I guess we could kind of laugh about that because it's working now, <laughs> but that was awful. Mm -hmm. And then our youngest daughter didn't want to go in the toilet after it was finally working. She wanted to keep using the poop bucket. So we had to hide. We got like a camping toilet because we were without a toilet for like weeks. And then when it was all fixed, we had to hide the poo bucket from her because she was like, can I just go in that? And we were like, no, use the toilet. 
Oh we can laugh about that now. Yeah, okay, now. what life event occurred this year that had the most impact on you? <laughs> this is supposed to be a fun, like joyful. So like, maybe you should do like, these types of quizzes when you haven't had a miserable year. Yeah, I think that would have been better. If, uh, you know, well, we're here now. We're 10 minutes in. So what's your life event that had the most impact? Um... Trying not to make this morbid. It's, it's really difficult. Um, the, I guess the, obviously it was the death of my brother um, this this past year. Um, you know, it's it's tough to answer a question like that. You know, it's supposed to be a fun job. We'll just thing. leave it short. I'll just leave it short. That's definitely it. Mine would be my deep seated daddy issues yes. having to be brought out and which would be my second if anybody cares. <laughs> I think ours first and second would be both reversed. Yeah. <laughs> like, Him having to lose his brother first and then deal with, with the dad. my daddy issues. And then yours and then is your dad and then my brother. And then having to lose your brother. <laughs> so I yeah. think that would be Yep. That would be it. What was the greatest achievement you experienced this past year? Oh goodness. Um It's again like how Have do you I experience any great uh, achievements? No, breaking down completely mentally. I achieved that. Yeah. Very well. Finding rock I, bottom. Again, I, I can't help but apologizing for how morbid this sounds out. But I mean it's yeah. That, this well, year was a very formidable year for us, so I guess that's what In makes a this fun way, we got to share our story and yes. do some different mm -hmm. things that was a very exciting thing and all the hard work we put into this channel here, to the co-op, like all these different things, like seeing them starting to like yeah, get yeah. going to hopefully prayerfully become something. It, it, I mean, those were good achievements. Sure. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, I, I definitely think that we, so I guess, and, and to honestly answer that and, and, uh, you know, on a more positive note, I think that there were things that were, um, that were figured out, um, things that were realized, things that, you know, at least I'm thankful for those directions. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I think, you know, that we have achieved, you know, something. So we'll see this year will be, I think the, the tell if we did achieve those things last year. <laughs> so, so if you're watching we'll this a year from later. now, we'll let you know later. We'll find out how this worked out. If you could relive one day of the last year, which one would it be? And why? Oh goodness. Um, in. I mean, we had so many good days. Um, I would say any time within that week when we went to California in January. I would agree. Uh, I think just, one I think that, day within those weeks. But, but I feel like that helped us realize a lot of just being together, having fun, being active. Absolutely. Not absolutely. being so wrapped up yeah. in all of the stuff that we... Yeah, we did. We were able to go and let loose for a week, uh, which was mm -hmm. nice because we had just been through, you know, the, the, yeah. the deal with my brother. So it was nice to get, you know, loose. So there's that. But again, as I said, I mean, every um, I feel like every birthday that we've had this year, we've had a blessed time. Um, we've got to spend a lot of time with your mom this year, which mm -hmm. has been very Wonderful. nice. Um, it's something that I know that we've all missed. Mm -hmm. um, so to be able to uh, be able to spend more time with her and have her here for the kids, you know, when celebrating the kids' birthdays and just Very kind of, special. um, you know, coming into our clan here. <laughs> it's, it's always, it's pretty cool, but we had some really good times with her. Um, uh, you know, me, you and I, we had, I feel like we had some great, great times. I'm really glad that we have forced ourselves to, you know, make this time and to do mm -hmm. these things and, no matter what, you know, we always know that that's something that we count on and we can go and unload. And even if we have the same conversation, you know, a hundred times, yeah, I feel like that it's we've nice. had a very good, very good year in that. And we've been able to do, you know, despite everything, we have been able to do a lot of nice things this year, yeah. just you and I, and as a family both. And, mm -hmm. um, so through all of everything that we've been through, including poo issues, you know, Literally. <laughs> um, yeah. there's, there's a lot of, there was a lot of good and blessings 
sprinkled out in there. That is the only thing that has kept us sane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think if it wouldn't have been for those things, be it'd be it, story. wouldn't it? It yep. would be, um, would probably be on the news for something, I imagine. <laughs> so what worked really well last year? Not in our relationship specifically, but just life in general. I think everything that we've been saying. I think um, going through these experiences together has shaped our family, I think, stronger and gave us even more, um, you know, idea. Even though it's, you know, you don't feel that much, you don't feel stronger yet and you don't understand all of this yet. But I think in retrospect, looking back at it and looking forward to it, I see us coming into who we are more and not having to apologize for that mm -hmm. um realizing that and, and and hopefully being able to be an encouragement to other families as well because there's a lot of people in the same boat and a lot of people i think give up on living this type of living out life in this way um which is unique and different from a lot of the way that the the rest of the world is and it's not that we're separating from it because we're still involved and that's what that's what makes it more difficult, I think, is living this life and then having dealings with the world at the same time and trying to, you know, th you realize that those two things don't don't mix mm -hmm. together very well. Um, and we've had to learn that and had to, to live and, and learn how to operate around that. And I think, um, which this is a lot of people, you know, we talk about this in church, we talk about it and, you know, as Christians, and I think a lot of people say these things in theory but they don't really know how to live them out act them out to actually put them into practice and it looks different for everybody not everybody has to do you know the path that we're doing but um you know i think there is a there's a sense of living differently that definitely looks different from the rest of the world and the way the world's going and it's it's going to cause pain it's going to cause rejection it's going to cause confusion it's going to cause you just sit back and go, have I done everything right? Did I not, did I mess up? Did I, did I ruin this? Am I being, you know, am I being too legalistic? Am I not, you know, Lord, you know, like, what do you do? You know, you get, you get so confused. And, um, I don't think that we have all the, I know I don't have all the answers yet. It's like we were just talking about just a few minutes ago before we even started this, you know, I still am confused by many things, but as I said, I think on the, the light side of that, I fear to calm once the dust settles and everything calms and mm -hmm. everything gets going on. I see this building us stronger and just continuing on our way stronger, I guess. What made last year challenging? <laughs> this, yes. She's not making these questions I'm not, up. I'm she's not. It's, them it's literally off, off of the, the list. Thing. Yeah. Um, everything. Yes. Yeah, everything life was life we did last year was one of those years that we deal we dealt with um i'm 39 36. year 36 mm -hmm. that we dealt with 39 and 36 years worth of life i think in, in one year yeah um it was literally from family drama personal health financial right. mental health like everything literally from every facet of everything that made this past year and it was just so, it was just such a weird year. Um, yeah. We were just so thrown off. We were so out of our loop, you know, I mean, with everything. I know, you know, the, the channel's been sporadic. We've been sporadic. I mean, everything has been all over the map. You know, probably looks like a manic moment on, from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is wrong with these people? Yeah, like, it, it probably does, but um, it, it, it it's has. Life. It's been... It's been one of those. Everybody deals with life. And, you know, as I feel like I see and maybe I just observe things incorrectly, but I feel sometimes normal people, they have life, life a little bit spread out and they don't have everything happen. And, you know, one time period, you know, who, why, like you said, your deep seated daddy issues at 36. Why did they decide to come out this year? I was why more than happy having them tucked away. Why did my closet? deep seated um, family. family issues and, you know, whatever I have, why did they have to come out this year? Why did they, and, and they were major things that brought them out. It's not like we sat around feeling sorry for ourselves and decided one day, hey, we're going to, cause a bunch of drama in our own lives like these things were 
very, very in our face and apparent, and um, it's been tough, but yeah. So next, how have we grown as a couple in this last year? Well, you didn't answer the last question, did you? I yeah, guess I our said answers all of are the it. same. I guess, I guess our answers are the same. <laughs> I said yes. I guess I'm just speaking. This last this year thing. made the last year challenging. Uh, I guess. So my answer was. Genuine, yeah. okay. yes. All right. So how have we grown as a couple in this last year? How have we grown as a couple this last year? I think we've seen in a lot of ways, like, the end of one another's ropes. In the, like, I can't do yeah. this anymore. Yeah. And, like, I know for you it was really big watching me have to have, like, my whole... Daddy. Family yeah. drama, meltdown, life ripped to shreds moment, you know, was a big thing for you. Yeah. And just that, like. Oh, that's the road. That's where it ends. <laughs> right. With that, right. Right. But then that yeah. was like a big thing for you that was like, because we have been together. You remember me as the 14 year old girl yeah. living this out right. and having to go through this. I remember watching you deal with your family nonsense and just feeling like these kids that had all this hurt and all this, whatever. And we're like, well, at least we can be hurt together, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think there was that way then of like seeing it all happen again. It was like, Oh yeah, that's right. We are those kids who come from that jacked up of a family for mm -hmm. you. Like literally nobody cares about anybody and they're just doing whatever. And we're like, oh yeah, that's right, mm -hmm. right? Having to watch my daddy issues play out in real time, you know, and right. all of this. And it's like, that's right. That is where we come from and how hard we've worked to build our family so differently. And I think it's just really helped re-strengthen us in that way of like, you're right. This is how we do marriage and we do parenting and family and all of that. and. I do believe this strongly in it because that's what we came from. And darn it, we're not going to repeat those things. No, it doesn't. We are going to do it differently. Yeah, it doesn't do any good, right? Right. Right. Yeah, because I don't want my kids to have to go through that. Yeah, because we see the the very small percentage of people that are successful and end up, you know, okay. Right. That were, did not. Because our marriage like this. shouldn't be successful in any way, shape, or form with all the statistics of where we've come from. Right. When we were a great team, what were we doing? Working together. I think we worked yeah. together. We love working together. Um, when was the last time we didn't work together so well? Working together. <laughs> <laughs> that answer is the same. <laughs> I can think of one day a couple weeks ago that. I said, okay, I'm done, and I left your office and went upstairs. I don't remember exactly what it was that happened, but I remember just being like, okay, and I left. So that, for me, would probably be the last time we weren't working together so well, because I said, mm, okay. And I can think of plenty of times when we've been doing things, and you've said, okay, we're going to pause. But, I mean, I don't, sometimes you just have your limits where you're like, hmm, we'll come back to this. Huh. I guess I should probably stay silent. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Looking back, how could we have handled the situation? I said if you're right. I guess I could have answered that question differently. <laughs> I really don't think. I don't know. I think that our situation this past year specifically has just been so outside of I don't the know realm that. of yeah. normality um, that... I don't really. I don't know that, that yet. I don't know how to answer that question yet because I don't feel like the dust has settled enough to answer that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's over, but even reflect like the things that happened last year, not things that just are over in a year. No, so it's like, oh, hey, it's like New year. Um, I, I what could I have done better? I don't know. I see there's certain you know things that we could have done, but yeah, I'm not worried about it. What's our greatest strength as a couple? What is our greatest strength as a couple? I think our greatest strength is that we don't give up. Yeah, I we agree. We don't throw in the towel. Because, honestly, we should have thrown in the towel and been divorced like 50 times over throughout the past, well, 18, nine, almost 19 years of being married, but 22 years of being a couple. Like, there's probably a million times... That, like, if you were watching us as a movie, you'd be like, why are you still together, right? Like, yeah, it is, like, sure. a thing. But, like, I don't call it whatever you want to call it. But we don't have that, like, 
give up in any facet really with us. So we just like keep trudging through. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's our greatest dream. Yeah, it's always Maybe been. we're idiots most of the time when we keep trudging through. Like, I'm not saying that, like, we, like, go us every time. Because I'm sure there's plenty of things we've kept on keeping on that it's like, oh, my gosh, you guys, give it a rest. But I think as a couple, like, is us, like, the fact that that's our thing. Yeah, I mean, it just, uh, I, I was kind of waiting to see what direction you were going to answer that cup. Because I'm like, is there a cheesy answer? Like, oh, we work well together. That's our greatest strength. I think know, we do and work it, well. it is. That's not. It's. It, but I mean, I think that's just the generic answer. But are you, like, if we're gonna take it to that type of like serious, yeah, mm -hmm. I think absolutely that's a strength because that's one thing that, um, you know, yeah, I think there's. I've. I've. We've shared before. I mean, neither one of us are easy people to live with, um, but I think that's one of the things that I was always like, you know kind of pressing on and I, it, it's definitely worn off on you to where now it's just like a thing that we both do um you know to where it's like no this is not this is not okay this is what we do you know this is we are sticking together we're gonna figure this out we're gonna iron it out um we're not just gonna get mad and be okay with being mad with one another even if it takes you know staying up the half of the night and working it out like it it works out you right. know and I, I don't think most people don't take that time to do that they just let things build up and fester and and they don't really know how each other feels and you know they just they live relationships off of assumptions right and you know you act like you're happy i take the idea that you're happy but that doesn't truly mean that you're happy and i and i don't i think that's not something that most couples are willing to do and i think that's probably a breakdown in a lot of the relationships so i think that's led to a lot less issues mm -hmm. i mean I, I feel like it has right on a scale of one to ten how happy are you with our lives right now I, in in certain aspects, I'm I'm over a ten. I think in general, if I were to answer that question, I'm definitely ten plus because I'm very happy of my children and my marriage. You know, my marriage of you know and where where we are as a core, even though that's been shaken up and everything. I you know I know. Um, I know there's a lot of good in it and, and there's there's a lot of good coming out of it and our children are, are not perfect but they're definitely different and they've been raised different and, mm -hmm. and that makes me feel a lot better about everything right. because seeing what the time you know a lot of it yeah is attributed to them but the other part of it is how they were raised and right. they were raised different and they were they're going to go into life differently and I think that's a win for well, the way they're going and I feel like you kind of answer that because the next question is what actions did we take over our last year together that contributed to that happiness and I feel like because like I would say like in an overall I would probably put it around an eight because that side of it is like 10 plus right the, the hard work seeing that pay off and come together and our kids our marriage our family like all of right. that and then the, the question after that is what actions drop the scale back? And so it's like, I would drop it back a couple just because we have so much uncertainty. We have so much struggle still. We have so much just like mess that we're trying yeah, to right. work yeah, through. Yeah, it does flow in Like I feel like, it's so like these three questions together. Like I feel like we have our stuff put together, but then there's all these pieces of life that have to be added around that, that, that are the like, yeah. ugh, we're not there. And I think that, but then that makes you, when those things happen, it makes you think that even your forefront relation and these right. things are wrong, you right. know, like, is everything just up in the air? You're like, no, you realize that, no, that's okay. It's the other side of this that's causing all of this problem inside of here. Right. So. So the next two questions I feel like can kind of be combined. Um, how did we handle conflict this last year? What could we do to handle conflict better? don't know yet because we still got more conflict i feel like there's probably a lot of things we could have done to handle some of the stuff this better, past year yeah. better but oh well yeah 
honest. Yeah. Right, like if you think of like the things over the past year, like I'm sure there's a million things that could have been done sure. to make it better. But I also feel like I don't know why. I mean, I know everything happens for a reason and God will bring us, you know, he brings it to it, to it. He'll bring us through it. And like all the things, like I get that. But this past year was a lot of like, literally being like on a minefield all year long everywhere we moved and it just never ever 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 stopped you know going up until now and I mean we made it and we keep going and that's the part that I'm so thankful for and I'm sure there's a million of those things we could have done better but um I know that it was all to get us to the place that God needs us to be and I trust that and I understand that but I mean, I don't know what that is yet. And so it's like, yeah, we did it. And I'm sure there's a million things. And like, I'm still just kind of numb to it all. And good thing God's got it. I trust in that plan. And we'll just see what it is. Cause yeah, I did, I, I guess. I, I mean, I guess to <laughs> answer that question, you know, that's why I guess you should answer all of them first. Cause it gets me even thinking about my answer. But my answer to that is, yeah, I mean, I completely giving up in so many ways this year, uh, so many different times where it just, you know, I think not, obviously not giving up in the long run, but I think even in the short run giving up. And I think there's there's times that, you know, even though that doesn't affect you over the long run, that still chips away at you. And you should, you know, and I think there's definitely times that you could have handled a lot of situations better. Um, but then, you know, you go back and you go, it is what it is. It's, it was handled the way that it was handled. How do you, you know, what are we supposed to do? And you'll learn what you need to learn from I, it. And, and I did, and I understand. Like, I wish, you know, I look back and I go, yeah, because that's one thing that you, you know, now I have to <clears throat> think back of how to put together, you know, and move mm -hmm. forward. And, and so moving forward is very difficult because you sit back and you go, man, I could have done right. a lot better back there. Like, up to right. now, man. But then... Like I said, on the other side of it, you're like, man, that's what I had. <laughs> like, so no, it's like, you work I, with what you got. and I mm -hmm. wish I would have done better. And next time I won't use that for an excuse. I guess that's what you learned. So final two questions. So it can be 22 questions for 22 years. What's a new thing you would like us to start? Um, I mean, like, like my dream. <laughs> sure. For us to go further out. And <laughs> to get, um, you know, hopefully planted somewhere that we can help and or, or we can, you know, go around and uh, help plant, you know, these other families, maybe, you know, show them how we've come to do what we do. I would love to encourage more and families encourage them to and, not feel so stuck under the constraints of like what the world says your life has to be and instead be like no like you we're nothing special you can go against the stream like you can you can pull back and not and i think it's important to stay that. real about it too it's not like your life is going to be marvelous and glamorous and, and instagram worthy that everything's going to be perfect right. if you do it it's not going to be but it's going to be worth it and you're going yeah. to have your family in the end and that's, that's the only matters. thing you care about right? right it doesn't matter i don't care how this looks i don't care how what everybody else perceives or you know sees in it um we all know we know each other i mean you, you go ask any one of our children you ask us you ask any family that's you know close around us and they can be that they can be our testimony right. they they are our testimony and i don't need to say any words i can let the people that are are that love our family that are involved you know that are our family mm -hmm. um and when i say family i mean you know involved not not just you know oh i have family because yeah we all have family but right. who do you have in your circle not that you keep you know not that you draw lines where you keep certain people in and certain people out um, but you definitely have your inner circle you know of your, in your core, core. family yeah. and you know who's in your core and um your core is the cool word still tribe tribe Remember that I guess, was the yeah, thing tribe. all the girls had like the stickers on the car yeah well, mug i don't know you know tribe. that thing. you know that stuff i don't, I don't know. know if tribe's still cool maybe it's not but yeah tribe Poor people i guess tribe is a good way to put it um you know because yeah you know you know and in your tribe can speak for you 
I don't, they're not conditioned to say anything. They'll just tell you exactly what, what it is <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. fine. And I, I can let them do that. And so, um, yeah. I, I would, know. in a much simpler form of that, cause I mean, yes to all of that, but one thing I would really like for us to start. Is Sorry. Just, <laughs> no, <laughs> that was deeper. spot on, but I want us to just be going out and doing more things sure. and we're really broke. So I get that's what always gets us because we're like, well, I don't have money, but I don't want that to be our excuse, which I understand kind of doesn't make sense because if you don't have the funds to go do the things, you can't go do the things. Like I understand that, but I don't want that to be our excuse. Like I know we don't have a car that we can all fit in. I know we don't have the money to go do these things, but like, I don't want that to be our reason why we don't. Right. Do with that what you will, but I don't want that to be a reason. Well, why there you go. Mine go is a little bit. Things. Well, I guess I kind of answered the next, the last question too. What's the thing you want us to stop? And that's kind of mine. Like I, I want us to okay. stop letting the reality of things be what stops us from doing the things that we want to do. I agree. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to play out, but. I don't know either. Uh, um, that's the, that's the issue that we weren't able to figure out last year. <laughs> We're going to try it. We'll, we'll We're going to try it. We can come up. We'll be creative. We'll do it. There's always something. But I feel like so much of that is like a mental thing, right? Where like, you're like, ah, I know I can't go do the things I want to do. So then you end up like not doing anything. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the way, I think that's the way. Like, well, I think of like working out, right? Like I know that I can't go out and do all the stuff I want to do right now. So then I just do nothing. And it's like, well, if I just got up and like, walked in place for 30 seconds that's still 30 seconds closer to okay, my not goal. saying that we don't not walk in place. no no but <laughs> i'm saying things. like yeah, that was just, 30 seconds closer like maybe we do. can't go out and do this cool extravagant thing but we can be more diligent about family game night or something right. like that. you know what i mean like there's things we can do yeah I, I, I agree and i mean we just need to go back to doing those things that we started to do that we you know when we first had this idea this, first started doing this you know because right. we were like that and then just life our life just got ripped apart so. so here's to 22 years and i don't know i think it's going to be good i think there's a lot of hard stuff that we're still kind of mucking around in and trying to clean up but i think there's also an immense feeling of like hope and possibility and stuff out there and I feel like our family just as a whole we feel ready for some sort of adventure sure I don't know what that adventure is but I feel like we all even the kids like we feel ready for it we'll find out <laughs> so this is coming up late but and I agree. it didn't happen quite exactly like we thought it was going to happen and we should probably go feed our kids because yeah, it's not gonna... late in the day and we haven't done any of that oh wow I didn't even realize how late it was so we're going to go do all of those things, but thank you for hanging out with us and at least seeing what 22 years of whatever this is, <laughs> is. And we will see you guys all back here tomorrow. I promise. Bye guys. Bye guys. You guys made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. I'm so glad you hung out with me. And guess what? If you want to watch a little something else somewhere here on the screen around me, little videos are going to pop up in a little button to subscribe and you know, it'll just be a great time. So click the buttons, make sure you subscribe, come hang out with us. We love getting to spend some time with you guys here in the interwebs. So thanks for hanging out with us.